Hey Paris, uh, you got any idea when you're gonna come out with those code of conduct reports? Yeah. Sir? I've already done them. Okay, I just have a question because when you go online, you can see from 2017 back, right. but 18, 19, 20, and 21 aren't there. Is there a reason for that? What do you like it? You just can't post it, or you just don't want to post it because you think there'll be problems? Well, I'm just curious why you used to post it online and now you don't. See, 17. Well, you write the reports. You write the reports. Okay. Well, it's not social media. It's it's on your website. Yeah. Okay. So that's someone in the administration as well that would have done that, or or Bobo. You don't know. Okay. And there's, I mean, there's no reason why you don't want to post them, or why someone has to make a FOIA request. Say what? I mean, you just, you just don't want people knowing that your police officers burn people's houses down with kids inside, or what? You don't know about your police officer burning a house down at two o'clock in the morning with children inside of it, nope. and you're the chief deputy, yep. and you have no idea about that. I forget his name. He worked at the jail. 2019? I know, I ask everybody else. Nobody else seems to know about it. He got 18 years. Yep. Well, I mean, that's pretty serious. That's they, four counts of attempted murder. In arson, not as accountable as anyone else would have been. No, I know, I know, I know. So y'all buddies, y'all work together all day long, every day. So protect your own. I'm not arguing with you. S suspicions. What about what about the officer who stole? You have a problem with how much time he got out of it. You go talk to the judge who's in charge and his duty to sign penalties for violation of law. That's not my job or nobody else's job around here. What about what about the officer that got arrested for stealing two thousand to ten thousand dollars? Yeah, that was that was what the arrest warrant was for. He was at the jail. He was stealing time, I guess. You know, saying he was go going to training, but wasn't. I know about that. that one. What about, what about the uh, officer who got caught abusing his child? Y'all fired him. DUI. How about that one? That. Yeah. Uh, two other domestic abuse before those. Probably the domestic abuse situation. <sighs> Sounds out of control. Sounds like y'all need me investigating. For misconduct. They're being held accountable by other Well, they're not they're not they're not held accountable every second of the day. Nobody is. I can sure check on them while they're working. Well, I'm going to. I'm invest I'm investigating. You don't have to be a police officer to investigate. Like what?
felt were too light was because we take care of our own and what, what we work for. Yeah, y'all do. Always. I think that's normal what everyone would think. I didn't I didn't say I have any proof of it. That's just my that's just my thought. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So how's that, uh, how's that some kind of misconduct? Well, I don't know why you're, I didn't say that point, that point there was some kind of misconduct. He made the misconduct, yes. I didn't allege anything that y'all, huh? And he was dealt with. Yeah, he was. Okay. But then, I mean, the, I just, I know there's, the there's, uh, I guess unless, you know, you get caught completely red-handed in front of 10 cops, you, nothing's really going to happen to you. So. Something happened to him. Yeah, of course, of course, you can't get away with that one. There's plenty of other ones you get get away with. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm investigating. You know, Car Carrie Benefield, I'm uh, pretty darn sure I got that proof positive on that one. Misuse of public funds is what I would call it. Why not? That gas in that vehicle, the tires on that vehicle, the wear and tear on that vehicle, cost money that's misuse of public funds unless she's paying her mileage to leave the county she had no business being out there but I for you requested her mileage we'll see if she's paying it and her old residence was outside of the county as well three miles out of the county and you might answer but I haven't received it yet so exactly exactly Yeah. As far as the deposit to receive it, if you agree with it and pay the deposit, then you get it. Yeah. If you don't, then it's all the wrong. No, I mean I'm just investigating, you know, it's not not a big deal. If you got nothing to hide, shouldn't worry about it. Paris, I don't think you got anything to hide. I don't think you do. I ain't got a dang thing to hide. <laughs> I don't think you do either. I don't think you do either. I think you're an alright guy. Yeah. Personally I don't care what you think Yeah, I know. I know you don't. Moro's a scumbag, but you know. It is. It is my opinion. Yeah. But you're not going to harass oh no, I'm not harassing. I'm investigating them. Okay, I'm definitely investigating. I've uh, I've already spoke to the chief of the Columbus Police Department, who completely threw Chuck Wright under the bus, and said that uh, you don't have a joint investigation going on with him, and he knows that there's a relationship between that cop and the person who lives there, not his police officer, and that's all on video too. So I'm doing a legitimate investigation. You'll find out legitimate it might not be some major but if you let them get away with the little things who knows what you let them get away with okay well you've been made aware of it okay and no one said anything was done dealt with it no one said anything had happened Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm asking for the documentation. Okay. All right. Well, she's she's supposed to sign uh, a sheet for it every every month. So her mileage. Oh, they did. Man, I guess I don't have that. So what? Payroll production. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. I appreciate you speaking with me. I do appreciate that. Oh, uh, one question. If I catch one of your officers uh, cursing, 
can I file a complaint for disorderly conduct and be the complainant and have them arrested? Cursing? Yes. It's, if I'm if we're out in public and I witness one of your officers cursing, uh, I'd like to have them arrested for disorderly conduct, right? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, I thought you could get arrested for cursing in public, as long as there was a complainant. At least that's what you told me. But it, but it only works one way, right? It only works. It only works one way, right? I witnessed it too. I got it on camera. I got it on camera. You want to witness it? Exactly, because you only care about yourself and taking care of your officers and no one else. That's my point. So you want to threaten me with disorderly conduct for saying a curse word when there was no complainant. There was no complainant. There was no complainant. A police officer cannot be a complainant. It's already been dealt with. A police officer cannot be a complainant. All right, well, so when I witness it and have it on video, one of your police officers cur cursing, I want to be the complainant. Complainant. Huh? Will you submit the complaint at that time and it will be looked into? It will. And he'll, he'll get arrested for disorderly conduct? He'll get arrested for disorderly conduct. I'm sure he won't. You know he won't. Depends on the circumstance. Really? Yep. Okay, what, in what circumstance can I curse then? Look it up. You know everything. You look it up. I can curse. You. You'll arrest me for it. But it'll get thrown out. You're, you're gonna, you know, you can beat the charge, but you can't beat the ride, and that's what you guys love. Yeah. Have you educated your officers on carrying in a state park yet? About statutory right of the people to carry in a state park as long as they have a CWP. Oh, it is. It is. The attorney general is writing an opinion right now. Um, what about statutory right to attend public meetings? Have you discussed that with your employees yet after the incident at Sparmer Water where they refused me entry to a uh, public meeting? They have been apprised on the rules and regulations concerning attendance of public meetings. The law. As far as the decorum that must be established. Yeah, of course. And be in place. Of course. You can't go in there and take over. Nobody did. Okay. Nobody did. Hey, I have it. I have an hour and a half of it recorded. Well, that's good. That's good. I have an hour and a half of it recorded. Very Nobody good. acted an ass. Nobody did anything stupid. You know. Very good. Kindness could be to everyone. They just had never had someone come to a public meeting before. I don't know about that. They hadn't. Well, they said it was unusual. Unusual to attend a public meeting. To, to ask questions. Hadn't even gotten to ask questions. Didn't even get through the door. I do, I do. It's enjoyable. Good. Actually, it's it's just you know. You give me the drive. You give me the drive to want to do it. You know, instead of just job? instead of just apologizing. You want a job? With what? Sheriff's Definitely not. Never gonna happen. Why not? Because I wouldn't give tickets. I wouldn't arrest people for victimless crimes. Why not? Why would I? Law. <laughs> There's many laws that are. That, yeah, well, you know, when I drive around and I have videos of your officers without lights and sirens on, breaking law all the time, and I bring it to their attention, I tell them, hey, write yourself a ticket, you know? Nope, won't do it, you know? You cannot write yourself a ticket. You can, of course you can. You cannot. Have you ever tried? You cannot write yourself a ticket. Why couldn't you? You cannot be a defendant and uh, defendant as well as... No, exactly. If if he was if he was a decent person, he would write himself a ticket. He would if he was a decent person, he would write himself a ticket and mail that check in. That's all he's got to do. He didn't have to defend himself. He's writing himself a ticket. He knows he did wrong. He knows he did wrong. Write himself a ticket and go. But you know, it's different standards for for us. I have an issue with law enforcement who doesn't follow the law and prevents people from doing statutorily protected activities like carrying in a state park or, you know, attending a public meeting, you know, or when I see officers driving around all day without using their turn signals, you know, or, you know, driving 20 miles an hour over the speed limit without their lights and sirens on, endangering people, you know, that's, that's what I have a problem with. I do. I know what you got to do. I do. I've already, I've, I've already analyzed. Yeah. I know what y'all about. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. And then when the officers don't want to give me their names, then uh, actually rule 50F of your code of conduct. You need to read it thoroughly. Rule 50F. I, I'll, I'll be giving you something on that. Are they on, they're all under, they're all, uh, they're all undercover? Is that what it is? They're all undercover? So you're going to make it to where none of your officers have to identify themselves? Who determines what? Well, who determines whether it's? See, that's. That, Hold up a minute. Let me talk. Okay, that's, I'll let you talk. That's your problem. You cannot, you cannot shut your trap long enough to let somebody else talk. Well, you have to be rude. You have to be rude. You to talk over somebody. Okay. You apparently didn't read the statute, the, the, the rules of conduct 50F, in its entirety to the effect that uh, it would have clarified, and you wouldn't be happen to ask me about. It. I'll make it clear to you in the letter I'm going to submit to you when and when and how and when not, and it's already in 50F. Okay. Well, I think it. I think it would concern the people of Spartanburg if the officers get to decide for themselves when they identify. Because then, how would uh, someone be able to make a complaint on them? But you don't think that anyone should be able to make a complaint if they wanted to? No, we accept any, any complaint. Okay, well, how are they going to file a complaint on that officer if he refuses to give his name? That's a different circumstance. You just, you're just going out trying to find something. No, I'm, no, I don't have to find anything. It's, it's, people. it's there. It's you're, there. You're the one that's approaching our people. Is that, should, should the people be scared to approach police officers? If you have a legitimate reason to approach our people, of their identity, then I do. Fine. I do. I'm going to post their names on a website so everyone can review them and see if they're a good cop or a bad cop. You know, they can put their videos up of their their experience that they had with them. You know, since what kind of website are you going to put it on? A legitimate website. I'd like to know so I can review it. Well, I got I got to get all the names first. Oh, We're working there. We're getting the database. I got about. You need everybody's name before you can put it in action. Well, I'd like to. Not everybody's. I, you know, I won't get night shifts. I guarantee you. That. That's part of the reason you ain't getting yeah. names on 50F anymore. Why? For your survey. Because of what? For you to post a survey. A survey? Oh, you don't want your you don't want your officers uh, critiqued by the public? Not through you. No, I, w I won't have anything to do with well, it. You are. You're the one that's making up the. I'm only going to facilitate it. I won't put any in, anything there at all. Call it what you want. Okay. It's hot out here. I got things I need to take okay. care of. That's fine. Stand here and argue with you. I thank you for talking to me. I appreciate it. Excuse me, sir. What's your name? You have a legitimate law enforcement uh, purpose. I do. I'd like to file a complaint on you. It is Andy Clark. Andy Clark. Would you like to file a complaint on me? For refusing to tell me your name, but now I don't have to. Now I don't have to. You're a scumbag. You can go back inside. Go back inside. How long you How long you been holding that in? There you go. Look good. How long you been holding that in? Doing great. I have. I walked through the police department parking lot with them. Y'all didn't see me. Yeah, that'll never happen. What? Scumbag? Scumbag. Trust you on that, buddy. Trust you on that, buddy. I trust you on that, buddy. Okay, buddy.